Hello, Tony. Hello, Hello. Barry. How are you, right? My name's Bar uh, Barry. No, I've forgotten your name, you haven't really. Yeah. <laughs> Been a hard day, hasn't it? Just a bit. Yeah, I've got my uh, my test next Thursday, mm -hmm. and my instructor was just running through the different uh, subjects, and he said we're going to have a look at left and right hand turns, major to minor today. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, just just talk me through if you was going to turn right what would the, be the things that that you would be thinking about if you're coming up to it to a right turn what major to minor yeah major to minor i'll oh, just use the mirror signal position speed look routine yeah fine okay um all right then point we're ready then tony all right okay then we're ready usual drills yeah. What can you see out of that mirror? Oh, uh, top and bottom of the back window, edge of my headrest, edge of your headrest, yeah. and 10% car under us down the road, and 10% car under us down the road. Good, okay, when you're ready, start up then, Tony, where we go. I'm going to turn left. At the end of the road, turn left, please. So once we've turned left here, Tony, we'll start looking for left and right turns, okay? All right. okay. You can point them out to me as you see them. There's a possible right hand turn down here. Yes, there is, that's right. Oh, that's crossroads. Oh, it's just turned out to be crossroads, yeah. But it's still good, that means you're picking up yeah. these breaks in the houses and that which is which tells you there is a junction there. That's that's good. The fact that it's turned out to be a crossroads doesn't, doesn't really matter at the moment. So just keep looking. Right. Roundabout, we're going to turn left. At the roundabout, turn left, please. So we're still looking for these turns that we can make. <coughs> Take the next road on the left, please. Okay. Can you just pull up along here where it's safe, legal and convenient for me? So it won't be stopping for very long, just a quick pull up. Okay. Handbrake neutral makes yourself comfortable. Right, uh, do you know why I stopped you? That Just stopped you just now, Tony? No. Right, when we went round the corner, we had our foot on the clutch. Okay, now if you have your foot on the clutch when you go around the corner, what are the consequences? Oh, just resting over the clutch, you mean? Well, it looked to me as if the clutch was down, actually, not up. No, you said I had my foot on the clutch. Oh, sorry, no, you had your foot down. Oh, right, right. Down on the clutch, oh, sorry. Right. Sorry. Yeah, so if you have your foot right down on the clutch as we go around the corner, what, what are the, the consequences of that? Oh, I can't remember now. Okay, well, you're going to go too fast, aren't you? You're going to lose your engine braking because if your clutch is up, you'll get the benefit of engine braking to slow the car down a bit more. Right. So, and if you go fast around a corner, what are the consequences of going too fast around a corner? I suppose I go too wide. You could go too wide, and if you go too wide, what's likely to happen? If there's a car coming down the other side of the road, if oh, you've gone that wide. I can hit them, couldn't I? Yes, you could have a head-on collision, yeah. yeah? Okay, so well, what I'm going to do now, Tony, we're going to drive and look for some more. And I'm going to keep an eye on that and talk you through that, all right, twice. Oh, or coasting, um, I think my instructor... Um, yeah. Yeah, I did coast uh, in, yes. in my early lessons. Um, I, I did coast in my early lessons, and uh, but I coasted gone uphill to a junction. And I didn't oh, right. Make it. And you could then find you're likely to roll backwards as well, because you'll lose all your speed. Yeah, all right. yeah, I'm going to turn left. Turn left at the end of the road, please. You always seem to forget that second consequence, don't you? Yes, I do. I do. I'll have to remember that. Okay, so keep looking for these um, um, junctions. And we're going to turn.
turn right in the round. At the roundabout, turn right, please. Take the next road on the left, please. And this time, remember, Tony. You're gonna once you've once you've changed into second, hand up, clutch up, and keep uh, your clutch up. Come right up, keep clutch up. That's it. That's good. Fine. Okay. So keep looking for junctions. Remember, we want to get that clutch up so we don't go too fast around the corner. Turn right. Yeah, Take them. No, actually, go straight. Yeah. Go around that corner and end up going too wide because we've lost engine braking all right that's the reason we're getting that making sure we're getting that clutch up and we're going to turn left at the end of the road turn left please if we can pick them up. Because you'll need need that ability to be able to pick your junctions up when you're on your independent drive. Yeah. I can use sat nav, can I? No, you're not allowed to use sat nav. That's, that's not allowed. <laughs> Just keep looking, because there could be something that would come around this bend. And we're going to take the next turning to the right. Take the next road on the right, please. Take next road on the right and come back down in a second and then clutch up and hand up. That's it, keep your clutch up. That's it, so we don't coast around the corner. So we come around nice and gently. Okay, now the next one, Tony. Oh, I'm going to just ask you and no. we'll see how we go. All right. Take the next road on the right, and what we're going to make sure we do, Tony? I'll uh, keep my clutch up. Good work. And why are we going to keep the clutch up? Yeah, so I don't coast into the corner and go what, too fast into it. Yeah, and if we do go too fast into it, what's the likelihood to happen? Uh, I could uh, go wide and meet a car head on or left train crossing the road. Yes, exactly. Well done. So you seem to have that idea now, Tony. So I'm going to hand that over to you, but I'll keep an eye on it. All right. And we're, again, we're going to carry on looking for junctions. Okay. So, keep looking. And we're going to turn left. Take the next road on the left. Break in, Tony. Break. Okay. Can we just pull up along here when we can, somewhere that's worth keep going at the moment, Tony? If we turn left at the end. Yeah, when we can find a place that's safe, legal and convenient. Can you just pull up, please? Okay, any idea why I stopped you, Tony? No. Right, we know the, not the last journey we just come out of, but the last one we turned into. All oh, right. Exactly. Went a bit, bit fast, wasn't it? Oh, right. And so, it's a bit like having your clutch down. If you go around too fast, whether it's because you 
clutches down, or in this case, she wasn't braking enough. I just thought I steered too late. Well, it's because you went, were going too fast. You uh, didn't have time to steer. If you'd have gone a bit slower, yes, we would have been able to have time to, no, to look to see right. where we needed to turn. So again, the same consequences um, for going too fast as as before. If you go in too fast, you're likely to meet another car coming the other way if you go too wide. But also, as you found out there, it also means you, you lose less, you've got less time to plan the rest of your approach to the junction, like to find your point of turn and turn in and give yourself time to steer. Yes, does that make sense so far? Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll go, go off we go, we'll, we'll find some more and I'll talk you through too. So what do you mean by too fast then? We, well, we, we, we should, what do you think a safe speed to turn a corner, normally? Um, 15, 20 mile an hour? No, more like 10 mile an hour would be a better speed to go around yeah, a corner right. at. And if it's very tight, even perhaps right down to 5 mile an hour or slower. Oh, okay, right. Yes, so that you've got time then to observe. Oh yeah, because uh, yeah, that one I took, it, I took about 20, didn't I? Yes, it was a bit fast. Yeah. Yeah, so um, it also gives you time to observe because if someone was crossing the road, yeah? Yeah. We might not have had time to see them. So, away we go. Yeah, and we'll so you can see why I pulled you back there. We were just about to pull off and you're going to talk me through the next next two, two but you never actually hit the nail on the head about speed. Yeah? Speed, yeah. You mentioned, you know, you mentioned I took it too fast, but yeah. you didn't give me an idea of, of what speed you should yeah. be doing. Yeah, got that, right. So we'll start looking for junctions again. Oh, right. so keep, keep looking and tell me when you can see junctions. At the end of the road, turn left. And we're going to turn left. At the end of the road, turn left. on the right so start braking Tony start braking braking bring your speed down come down at second now Tony get your speed down to 10 mile an hour second gear nice and slow. that's better that's better now did you find that better Tony oh, did you yeah, have more control yeah. there yeah okay I'll talk you through another one but see how we if we get that speed down we can come in more controlled yeah. got time to do the steering yeah more relaxed yes Looking for these junctions. God. He couldn't have looked, could he? At the end of the road, turn left, please. Keep looking for these junctions, Tony. And we're going to take the next. 
next turn into the right. So next road on the right, don't forget start braking, turn it to bring your speed down to 10 mile an hour, bring speed right down to 10 mile an hour, then look in, watch the young lady. Go on the first turn. And then again, did you see once we brought the speed down, we got the time to look. You could see that young lady that was going to walk across your time. I'm going to turn right. Take the next road on the right, please. Yeah, Thank I shouldn't you. have waved them across, should I? No, I didn't see that. Tony. I said I shouldn't have. No, you shouldn't, shouldn't wave them across. No, you shouldn't. You must never wave pedestrians across. Because although you know what you are doing, you don't know what other motorists are doing. So you'd wave them across and someone else could whip round you. Yeah, because my yeah. mate who takes me out now and again, he says I should wave him across. No, matter way. no, you don't, because you can stop and let, wait and let them cross, but no. they make their own decision. We're turn left. Take the next road on the left, please. Turn. They make their own decisions. Yeah, the feeling he was probably wrong, so well, I thought I'd ask anyway. Yes, always worth asking, Tony. And we're going to turn right. Take the next road on the right, please. I should have talked you through that there, Tony. I forgot. No, you talked me through it here already, didn't you? I asked you that on that one, I'm sorry. But I didn't, so I'll do the next one. I'll ask you on the next one. Right, we find a place to stop on the left. Just put up on the left here, please, while it's safe, legal, and convenient. Right. I, the only thing I think there that I've got to learn, that I've learned from that, is that if, as the examiner, like, yeah, you did, you asked me a question about um, the waving someone across, and I answered that, but I shouldn't forget what I'm meant to be doing, which was asking you the next turn that we made, and I did, I'd forgotten it. Yeah, it's quite. A th it's quite an important question to ask there, though, isn't it? Yes, very important. Um, and and I thought, I thought yeah, that you were 